today I'm going to show you how you can create multiple designs with one click. Obviously there's a few clicks that come before that one click, but we're going to learn how to do that. It's called Bulk Create and it's a feature that's been in Canva for a few years. This is actually my third video on this because Canva keeps updating how it works. And so this tutorial features the latest updates to Canva that got released on the Canva Create 2025 updates. And a big shift that's happened now is that we can now use the Sheets feature that is now inside Canva and we can also bulk add images, which we could already do, but we can also now bulk background and move on our images. I'm going to step you through how you can create from start to finish inside Canva, even using a little bit of Canva AI to create multiple designs. You can create hundreds of designs in one click whenever you want to. This is going to speed up your creation process, whether it's over social media posts, or presentation slides, wedding invitations, anything at all you're making lots of copies of, you're going to love this feature. Let's dive in. So hi, if we haven't met before, my name is Jackie and I am a graphic designer who loves teaching business owners how they can use Canva design graphics branding strategically so that they can grow their business confidently. Because I believe that design isn't just about looking pretty, it's about being really strategic and communicating with our audience where they need us and showing them how awesome you are. And so today I'm gonna to share with you that bulk create feature. Now, firstly, this is with Canva's newest update. This update is still being rolled out to everyone. So if you're watching this at the time of release and you don't have it, go back and watch my overview video on all of Canva's updates and You'll see how to get early access to that feature. It is only for the first 1 million people though. So if you've missed it, don't stress, it will roll out to everyone very soon. Otherwise you can head back and watch my previous bulk create video, which will still work mostly. You just won't have the bulk of background remover feature. So this is a bit of an overview of what we're going to create today. You can see I've got multiple images all looking quite similar, but the image has been replaced and the text has been replaced. And I did this all within a couple of clicks. And just a to note too, that this bulk create feature is only a Canva Pro feature. I have not found a workaround for Canva free. So this is just for those of you with Canva Pro. If you'd like to try out Canva Pro, I highly recommend it, especially if you're running a business. It's going to save you so much time and money that's going to be worth the money that you're paying to use it. I have a link below if you would like to try it. So let's dive in. Firstly, I want you to open up your Canva and then you want to press create and you can choose to create a new sheet. So I'm going to click on create new and select sheet. If you can't see sheet there, then type in sheet at the top here and it will come up here. Again, if you don't have the new Canva, that won't be here yet, but soon it will be for everyone. So click on sheet and it's going to open up pretty much Canva's version of Excel spreadsheets of Google Sheets. It's just a sheet platform for us. Now, what we want to do in here is add in all the data we want in our posts. So in essence, what you need to do is think about if I want to create a bulk post, I want to do a bulk quote post for my Instagram or a bulk post for a speaker speaking at a conference, which is what I'm going to do today. Then think about parts of that graphic that are going to be the, going to be the same and parts of that graphic that are going to be different. And then whatever parts are going to be different, that's what we want to put into this spreadsheet. So for me today, I'm going to do a graphic like this, where you can see the speaker's name, the speaker's presentation time, and the speaker's presentation title. And so each of these different parts needs to go into my spreadsheet. So first I'm going to add in a title up here and you need to have a title for every single thing. You could just do one data entry point. You could just have one name if you were just just replacing a name on a wedding invite, for example, or you can have 20 different data points. It's just a matter of what you need to customize in your designs. So for me, it's just three areas plus an image. So I've added in my column headings, title, presenter, date, and image. I'm gonna now bold these just for my reference. You don't really need to. And in here, I'm gonna put in the title of the presentation, make that column a bit wider. I'm gonna put in the presenter's name, their date, and I'll add the images in shortly. And so a feature that's now inside Canva in this sheet section. So say you are doing like quotes, like inspiring quotes or tips for X, Y, and Z. You can actually enter these into these sections. You could have the tip content in here, or you could have the quote content and you could have the quote like credit in here, whatever you like. But what I want to share with you is that Canva actually has like a magic fill option. So if you, for example, started to do some quotes and you just wanted to collect a, a collection of generic, beautiful quotes or a collection of tips to waking up early, you can actually hop, put your mouse and select and click and drag and select in all the fields. Then when you've got those selected, click onto actions in this toolbar up here and you'll see a whole lot of options. If I pre pre press in here, fill empty cells, Canva's actually gonna look at the content in here and fill the empty cells. It's gonna use this little AI brain and have a look at what I've already done here and add in content that it thinks makes sense. So for me, this is pretty awesome. It's kind of filled in a bit of fake content in here. This obviously isn't real. This is just a fake kind of thing to show you what I wanna do. But if you were doing something that wasn't actually really and just wanted some content in here, you could use this exact tip. And if you want to kind of refine it, you could say more like this, but like more examples, or you could give it some more refining, whatever you kind of want to do there. If I was to press this but, I can now type in, make them all to do with design. 
just for example. And you can see it's given us some data here. So once you've got your data inserted, so fill this in as long as you want, you can do 10, you can do 20, you can do 100, however, however many you like. I wouldn't do one because that kind of defeats the point of doing it, but you can always test with one. What I'm also gonna do here is add in an image. So if you have a particular image you'd like added into your design, whether it's a picture of your product, a picture of a person who's on a quote, a picture of just a random beautiful background image, you can add that in here and it's gonna bulk create with that. It's gonna create that as part of our image. So if I actually go in here and add in some images, All right, so I've just gone back and got some images. These are just from Canvas Library because this is all fake people. But if you were doing this for real, you'd get real pictures of real people. And what I wanna show you now is Canvas bulk background remove option. You can actually just click on a cell and then click and drag on the cells that you wanna remove the background from the pictures. And you'll see up here, there's got the background remove option. If I press this, Canvas is now gonna look really closely at this. You can kind of see it doing its little magic and it's slowly removing the backgrounds of all of these images. So, so, so cool. All right. Next up, we need to create the design we want to insert this information into. So for me, I'm going to use Canva's new option where I can actually add multiple sizes to one design. I'm going to click this little up arrow and I'm going to select to do a social media post. I'm going to select that post to be an Instagram size post. Now you can choose anything here. You can choose presentation slides. You can make your own custom dimensions and add in like your wedding invite size, whatever it is, you can add that all in here, but I'm gonna choose social media, Instagram post, and that's gonna add an Instagram post to this one kind of Canva file. I'm just gonna to go to my um, Canvas templates in here and search presenter. I like this template, so I'm gonna add this into my design and edit it to kind of suit what I want. So I'm gonna remove this lady because I've just got one at a time, but I love this kind of look. So I'm gonna just move this and grab that, maybe sit her in the middle, lovely. Maybe add her name there and maybe make it a little bit bigger. I might add in my conference's name. This is obviously just a fake conference. <laughs> Please don't call your conferences, although maybe it will do well. I'm gonna add this at the top here. And so this information here, I'm not actually changing the name of this conference. So that text is actually gonna stay the same throughout all of my designs, but this content here and the name, that's going to change per design. I'm gonna bring her down a little bit. By the way, just I'm gonna pop in right here and just say if this designy stuff looks tricky in terms of your like, yeah, I could do this bulk create, but everything I create just doesn't look right. I wanna invite you to my free challenge. It's called the Seriously in Business Challenge. It's gonna help you actually learn how to make your designs look good rather than just doing cool cam camber hacks. And it's gonna help you create a brand so that what you're designing actually matches your brand and builds your authenticity and credibility in your industry. So head to the link below and you can join that ASAP. It's free and I know you're gonna love it. All right, back to the video. All right, so this is looking fine all good. Now that I've got my design, I'm going to go back into my spreadsheet. I'm going to select all of my content. So I'm going to click and drag on the top cell and drag until I get to the bottom right hand cell. I'm then going to select actions here and scroll down until I see the bulk create option, which is right here. As I mentioned, this is just a Canva Pro feature. Click bulk create. And you'll see that it's got me to select my data range. If I didn't have that selected, it would ask me to do so. So again, you just select these and make sure you've got all of the data. You need to make sure you have your headings, not just the data, you need the headings as well. I'm gonna press continue. Then I get to choose what design I want this data applied to. Now, because I'm already working in this one design, I'm gonna actually say this is the one that's currently open. If you weren't using a design that was already inside where you're working, you can choose any designs from your own library. You would just search that here and you could select the design you wanted. But for me, I'm just going to use the one I've already got open, which I think makes the most sense when you're doing it this way. So I'm gonna click on my currently open design here and you'll see that it's opened it up here. So you've been like, oh yep, that's what you want. I'm now going to select each of these data points and link them to my spreadsheet data. So I'm gonna click on this top heading here where I want my presenter um, title to go in. I'm gonna press, click on the text box and press connect data. This connect data option comes up when you're selecting on something that you can connect to your data. So I click on here, going to bring up connect data and I'm going to choose that I want my title to be there. So you can see that's now turned purple because that's now linked to this part and you can see the little title option connected to that text box. I'm going to do the same with the date. Click on the text box, press connect data, choose the date and select the name, connect data, choose the presenter. Now is the fun bit. I get to choose the image. So I'm going to click on this image, press connect data and select the image. Once I'm happy, I want you to pause. Don't just press create 10 designs. I want you first to move over to advanced options. There are a few options in here that you're gonna get really frustrated if you do the wrong thing here. So we've got two options for the output. We can either choose to have this in 10 individual Canva designs. So I don't know why you'd want this, but you could have 10 individual Canva designs 
or you can have 10 pages or however many pages you're doing in one design. So 10 pages in one design. 10 pages in one design is what makes much more sense to me. But if you want 10 individual designs, this is where you do it. And you can actually choose where you want this to be saved to. You can create a new folder or it will actually create its own folder if you don't select a folder. And you can choose how you want these files to be named. Like, do you want it to be named the original name or do you want it to collect the title name or the presenter name or the, the date column name, whatever your column name is. Do you want that to reference what the file name is just for your own reference later on? I'm going to leave mine as is, but I'm going to make sure I change the name of my whole design up here. So it makes a bit more sense for me. All right. So I'm going to make sure that's named correctly. And then I'm going to press create 10 designs. Canva is now going to add a new column to my spreadsheet. You can see it says 10 designs created and saved to bulk create April. So you see it's now, now created 10 of those designs, which is not exactly what I wanted, um, but they're all there ready for me. And it's actually linked each one. I'm actually going to undo that and do that again, just so that I can get all of them in one design, because that is what I'd prefer. Let's go to advanced features again and make sure I choose multiple designs in one design. And just before anyone gets mad at me, I have people commenting in my past tutorial saying that was more than one click. That was more than one minute. This is the one click I'm referring to create design. And that creates an individual that, that creates those multiple designs straight away. That's the click I'm referring to. All right. So create design. And you can see that's now added one design created and saved into your projects folder. If I want to access that design, I can just click on this little link here and that's going to open up my bulk create design. And look at this. I have all of those titles are now replaced. The dates and times are now replaced and the name is now replaced and the photo is now replaced. Now I might go through and do a little bit of tidying up to these. This one here is pretty much perfect. This one here, because of the cropping of the photo, I might choose to make her a little bit bigger. See this one here, because the title was a bit longer, it's actually squished it a little bit over three lines. So I might choose to make this text box a little bit larger, maybe make um, the text font a little bit smaller. All right, that saved me so much time to create these designs by themselves. It would have taken me about 20 minutes. That took me probably if I wasn't describing it to you, it would have taken me about three minutes. So that is how you can do Canvas Bulk Create. When you're ready to save, you can just press share and download. And I would download these as a PNG if you're doing them as social media posts, or you can schedule them to your social media as well. So I hope you found that useful. Please explore this feature. If you do want to access this outside of Sheets, you can still use your side panel here and you'll see that there's a Bulk Create option. If you can't see that, you can just click on the app section and search bulk create and you should be able to view it here as this option you can then go in you can connect data from somewhere else like google analytics or hubspot or you can upload just a csv file or you can enter your data manually all of those options are still available for you but that is how it works especially using the sheets feature using that bulk background mover as well let me know in the comments what you want to use this for because there are so so many options when you start to think strategically for your business another great one is using these for pinterest pins so you could even ask ChatGPT, like upload a podcast or a blog ask ChatGPT to repurpose it into 10 different pinterest pins or 20 different Pinterest pins, run that through and you're all done. The options are endless. Stay tuned and make sure you hit subscribe because I'll be sharing more Canva features, more Canva updates in the coming videos. Let me know below again what you're going to use this feature for. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next week for another tutorial. Bye.